Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Kinnick and this is PHP for Dummies Day 13. Today I'm going to be teaching you from, uh, I've had a request from someone on my YouTube page to uh, make a lesson on a login and register script. Unfortunately, since you guys have not um, learned MySQL yet, uh, I can't teach you exactly how to create a lo uh, register script, so I'm just going to teach you a, a very simple login, how to make a very simple login script. Um, although in the next couple of lessons I will be teaching MySQL and if you don't know what that is use Google Google is very helpful so just continue watching the video and I'll show you exactly what I mean okay so I'm gonna start off by creating a login page called index.html as you can see I've got three pages open at the moment index.html process.php and valuable.html um, as you probably have figured out by now, PHP can have HTML. PHP files can have HTML in it, but HTML files can't have PHP in it. Um, so index.html and valuable.html is going to have no PHP in it. So let's start off by creating our basic login system, uh, our login form. Uh, we we'll set the action to process php we'll set the method to post uh, let's so username and we'll set this an input type to text with a name of username input uh, sorry about that Let's just create a break tag, and um, now we'll set the password field and the input type. This time will be password. The difference between the input types of password and text is that in an input in the password uh, field, everything will come out uh, hashed out, so you won't be able, someone else won't be able to see what you're typing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean just now in a moment. Let's just finish this up first. And we'll set the name to password input. Sorry, no space there. And we'll create another break tag. And then finally, a submit button. We'll set the value to login and the name sorry I'm typing what I'm saying <laughs> and the name will be summit let's close out the form tag close out the body tag and finally let's close out the HTML tag so I'm pretty sure you've got a good idea of what we're going to see on the in the web browser let's just go take a look anyway Alright, so I'm on, on our login page that we've just created. So let's just type in anything in the username part field. Uh, then if we type in anything in the password field, it comes out hashed out as dots, like so. So um, that's what the password field does. It's the same as a text field except it just hashes out everything. And of course if you click login, it's going to send us to process.php. But um, since there's nothing there, it doesn't do anything. So let's go write some code for process.php. Alright, I'm on our process.php file. What I'm going to do is open our PHP brackets and assign some variables. So the variable of username will equal to underscore post. Ah, I hate it when it does that. Underscore post. And that will, will assign it to the username input field. Now we assign it another variable uh, as password and set this to uh, the field password input. Um, sorry, typed it wrong. P password input, that's the field we'll assign it to and then we'll create two more variables the, the correct username 
and we'll set this to my username, Crazy Rocker. And then the correct password. And we'll set this to one, two, three, four, five. So now that we've assigned all our variables, we need to create a simple, well, quite a complex if statement. If, and then we need another bracket because we're going to be putting two things in the if statement. If our username is equal, remember we use two equal signs to check if something's equal to, one equal sign to assign a value to something. Uh, if our username is equal to our correct username and we want to add another parameter so the way we do that is by typing two of the and signs like so and opening another bracket so it's saying if our username and correct you is equal to correct username and what we type now is if our password is equal to our correct password um, so what it's saying now is let's say if our username is equal to the correct username and our password is equal to the correct password do the following note that I've put each of the parameters into brackets, two separate brackets in the same major bracket so um, we'll set it to header location uh, valuable dot html so what this part of code is basically doing it's uh, sending uh, the user to valuable dot html and then we close that out and s sorry about that We'll close that out and add an else statement. What happens if our username or password is incorrect? And we'll just do a simple echo your username slash password is incorrect. And uh, let's go see how this looks like in our browser now. Oops, I almost forgot. First, we've actually got to um, add some information to valuable.html. We'll just do it really quickly. Close it out. And we'll just type some very valuable info goes here. Let's save it and let's go look at it in the browser right now. Okay, so I've put anything to make it correct, to make it wrong in our username field and anything in the password field to just check to see if it's wrong or right. And since we've entered incorrect information, it's spat out an error saying your username or password is incorrect. Let's go back and type in the correct values. And the password was 12345. Click login, see what happens. Some very valuable information goes here. So that's the basic principle behind a login script works. Um, yeah. Okay, so that was PHP for Dummies Day 13. We learned today um, how to create a very, very simple uh, login script. Remember, you won't be able to see any PHP script when you view the source of a website. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, it's like when you go on a website, if you were to go on this website, on the website we've just created, and view the source on the PHP page, you, s you wouldn't see any PHP. Uh, that's why it's quite secure to do something like this if it's not entirely convenient. Um, in our next lessons, we're going to be learning about uh, MySQL. So thanks for watching, and if you're interested in following this series, please subscribe to my channel.